Old village of Linktus Peveril come gan the boggling time. It's then, yeah, thank you, it's then that the young men of the village choose one of their number to be the Gandur man. Uh, they choose him in the time-honored method of picking on the smallest and itting him until he volunteers. <laughs> And they deck him in feathers and marmalade and hang round his neck the dingling iron, which dingles his grass if he's not careful. And they, yes, they send him out with the time on a cry of, go on, get up out of it. And under one arm he has a goose and the other arm he has a gander. And he, knock, he goes down the street and knocks on the front door of a young maiden of choice. And when she answers, he says, oh, Would you like a gander? Would you like a gander? Would you like a gander, my lissom young lass? To which she generally replies, No, I would not like a gander. So he gives her the goose. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got there eventually. <laughs> and <laughs> off he capers down the street, uh, grabbing his dingling iron and singing this plaintive ditty. Thank you. Joe, he was a young court wangler, monging greebles he did go. And he loved a old court wangler by the name of Chiswick Flo. <laughs> Vain she was, and like a grasset, and again the parts were fine. But she sneered at his court wangle as it hung upon the line. So he stole a wobbler's moolie for to make a wedding ring. But the Bow Street runners caught him, and the judge said, You'll swing. Oh, they hung him by the postern, nailed his moolie to the fence. Just to, thank you, just to warn, <laughs> keep up at the back, just to warn all old court wanglers that it was a great offence. There's a moral to this story, the Uganda parts be sore. Keep your hands off others' moolies, for it is against the law. <laughs> thank you.